Welcome back for another video and today we're going to be taking a look at a teal hunt. I'm getting pumped up about teal season starting. We're pretty much on the home stretch here guys. So it's almost the end of July. We just got to push through August and September will be here. So I'm kind of getting excited about teal season and dove season and everything kind of kicking off in September. So if you guys have any videos like tips and tricks and things like that, like I've done in the past with different videos, if you guys have anything you want to see coming this fall to help you guys prepare for the season, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you haven't been listening to Outdoor Limits podcast, be sure to do that. It's a great podcast, tons of different topics. So we're on Spotify and Apple and all kinds of other places. Spotify and Apple are the two major ones. But um, head over there, check that out, and also go join the Outdoor Limits podcast Facebook group. But let's go ahead and talk about this video here. This is a teal hunt from this past season. And uh, it was fun because we kind of had limited options on where we could go hunt. And so this kind of was pretty much our only pick. We saw a few birds in there the day before when we were scouting. We scouted a bunch of different pools. This one looked pretty good. So we wanted to give it a go and see what would happen. And um, there was four of us in one Goosebuster A-frame. So this was a fun hunt. And this is the type of hunt that I kind of want Cora's first hunt to be like. So um, this kind of setup is what I'm kind of looking for when we take her hunting for the first time. And uh, hopefully, if the training progresses like we want it to, ideally she'll be ready by teal season to hunt. But i um, not gonna push it, gonna make sure she's ready, but for sure she'll be hunting in big duck season, which makes me really excited. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and uh, get pumped up for teal season. So go ahead and smash that like button for me. And uh, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Oh, welcome back for another video. We're out for a teal hunt this morning. We got all the stuff set up. The new Rogers A-frame is what we're using. It's the first time we've hunted out of it. And we got it grassed up last night. And y'all can't see it, so that's cool. Filming at nighttime is the worst. Like, well, it's the morning. Well, it's, filming when it's dark outside is not fun. It's like, I want to show you guys everything we're doing, but it's very difficult. But we got like two dozen teal decoys. We threw out the motion duck spreader. And we got some spinners out there, but most importantly, we have Charlie. It's old Charlie. Box. And uh, we're naming him Charlie. I think it's, it's I think it's a fitting name for Charlie the Spoonie. We'll see where he comes on hunts throughout the season, but it's time to go put him out in the spread. Let's double check to make sure his batteries work. He's ready. So we got Charlie the Spoonie on a little teal hunt this morning. So just gonna try and polish everything up and get stuff put in the blind and see what happens. Hopefully we get some teal in here. Here they come. Get back. Man, it was a cloudy day. I can't see it. I think this was Blake's first hunt of the season too, so he was pretty pumped up. I think I was hunting before this point. <laughs> oh, he didn't get skunk. Oh. Here we go. Shoot him. Hey! All these birds are just zipping in real low and we can't see them until they're on the water. That's what it looks like what was going on. You don't have a head on that duck. Did you see that? Like 10 yards when I pulled up. Uh, left? Left. <laughs> swing it, swing it, swing it. Yep, Call help. it, John. Now. Gosh, it's kind of hard to see. On the left. It's a, it's a dark <laughs> one. Those clouds make a difference in the morning when you're filming, when the sun's first kind of peeking up, right? First light. If it's cloudy, it's really dark and hard to see, especially on a camera. See him on the left now? Right here on the, on the left. left. This is some fast away. action. He's out swinging now on the right. Just one in front. <laughs> Shoot him, John. Smoked him. That was kind of a poke. That was a good shot. Flying squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There's a teal sitting on the water right there. Mm -hmm. Think I could swat him? Yeah. Where's he at? Oh, right I see him. Right there. Smoke him. Got him. Got him. Oh, I forgot. On this hunt, you saw my head mount kind of drop down. I didn't realize it, so I'm glad I had this second camera rolling at that point. Because it was, uh, all the video off of that was done. It has been some fast action this morning, guys. Wow. We got a few birds in the blind at this point. Oh, Johnny Boy just shot two with one shell. One right in front. Oh, yeah, here comes one. Yeah, it is. Big duck. Sorry. Sorry, Josh. Big duck. Well, Charlie's out there doing us some work. Seems like all the birds are wanting to land on him. But we're not getting... There's, there's a group. We got a group coming. But birds are doing what we want them to do. Oh, child. What are you most excited about? I am most excited about teal puppers. Mmm. Mmm. Hungry already. It is also really nice. Huh. We're not getting ate alive by mosquitoes. Yeah, you say that. I just killed one on my neck. Well, <laughs> I said ate alive, and so you aren't going to get bit. We got a thermos yeah, get a thermosel. So that... We got the thermosel going. Oh, do you have it going? Yeah. Yeah, get a thermosel. It makes a huge difference when you're in the blind teal hunting. It's gotten quiet. Not a lot have it been moving. What time do you think it is? I don't know, it's probably only been like 20 minutes. 7.07. .07. What a fun day. What a fun hunt. The thing about this hunt is we had like two options of places to hunt and we just based it on water. We just picked this one because Blake said he saw birds in here the other day. Seems to do good. Got a knack for it. Do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, feels good to be shooting ducks again. Mm -hmm. I like it. I love how we're all just kind of standing up and just staring off into the distance. Oh, landed short. I get him. The worst first thing ever. We've all been in that position, right? There, you're going to pick up a duck, and you see another one, so you just squat down and try not to be seen. Those birds landed short again. Hmm. So we've had quite a few groups come fly by and uh, just keep flying. And so we um, pulled the spinners out, so poor Charlie had to get put away. There's the decoy spread. Two dozen teal decoys just kind of lining the edges, trying to make it look kind of realistic. Teal like to get up in this thick stuff and feed and stay in, stay in the cover, so we're trying to mimic that with our decoy spread. We'll see if pulling the spinners does something for us. Uh, it's about 7.30 at this point. Oh, teal, this bird is chasing them in here. Oh yeah, there was like a hawk chasing birds right. off across the marsh. Got him. He's swimming. Yeah. Oh, go find him. Making some long shots today. Behind us, behind us, behind us. <laughs> John, quick on the draw, buddy. I don't think I've ever seen that in my life. What? Pintails land. Oh yeah. Two teal. Oh yeah. I think that last shot might have been a little excessive, Joshua. <laughs> Hello, John, giving us the coaching. Shoot him. Both of them. 
Gosh, there was a lot of water nice. swatting on this hunt. There you go. I think it's because they just zip in so quick and they just plop you down. You <laughs> JR, did you get both of those? Yes, sir. Nice job. I'm a little bit upset that old Charlie had to get put away halfway through the hunt. I don't know if the spinners moving helped us or not, but I don't know. I can't wait to see where Charlie goes on the next hunt. He's always going to be front and center. I love this guy. Spoonies, bro. Well, we are packing things up. It's How many birds did we shoot? A lot, and I think we just kind of found their place for the day. It's about nine o'clock or so. I ended the day here with three in the bag. I had two of them. Two birds scoot off. And it's exactly why I, by the time I, got I want coral on this I mean, type of hunt. On those birds. Those teal, they just dipped and, into that grass and they like, were gone. His last bird, it was right there, right on it. Gets there and it's gone. This teal, they're really good at hiding. Oh no, this was a fun hunt. Way better than I expected with just going in. We didn't really even look at this place yesterday to see if there's birds on it. So I'm a, I'm a happy camper here. We got poppers on the way. It's going to be a fun time for the next couple of days. We're going to try and put together two more teal hunts and hopefully they turn out as good as today did. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut that off there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to most in September. Are you looking forward to dove season, teal season? Does your big duck season open, early goose? What's your thing in September? I'm really curious about knowing that. But um, if you wanna help support the channel, there's a link in the description. Head, head over to my website, pick up a hat or a t-shirt. means a lot when you guys do that. And um, I think that's about it for today. So stay tuned. Got to, going to have a lot more videos coming out because season's getting closer. We're going to start preparing and getting ready because uh, September's on the way. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you on the next one.